Bruce Berkeley is a man in Goodridge who's on a mission to track down the owners of a watch he's had in his possession for many years. And it's not just any watch, it's the watch of a former World War II veteran. And Berkeley is doing whatever it takes to return that watch to that man's family. Matt Hansen has this story. Tucked away inside a home in rural Pennington County is a mystery. No idea. About an American war hero. Here's one that I haven't seen that Bruce Bjorkley has spent years trying to identify. It's overwhelming. Who was the man who used to wear this watch? No clue. We have no story behind the watch. Rewind the hands six decades. Bjorkley's dad came into possession of the Bolova timepiece while serving with the U.S. Army in World War II. The second hand is missing. Very nice band. I don't know if it's gold. Looks like the stainless steel back with an engraving, Harold Knudsen. Shortly after the war, Bjorkley's dad gave it to a family member for helping on the farm. That family member recently gave the watch to Bjorkley. See, my father died in 71. So that story is long gone. Just want to give it to the family. Hours at a time, Bjorkley is now trying to find the family of Harold Knudsen. Here's one from the one from Iowa. Mainly pouring through obituaries. Like I said, we went through having a child in war. And you never know. I don't, I don't know if this, this guy came home alive. Sorry. Along with the name, there is one other clue on the watch. A serial number beginning with 3-7. That means Knudsen was from the upper Midwest and a member of the U.S. Army. This is the seventh state area that the Harold Knudsen is from. Bjorkley says on about a dozen occasions he thought the time was here. He had found Knudsen's loved ones, only to hit more roadblocks. I have tried to make a few calls, but with no answer. But with all these telemarkers calling, they don't know who I am. Bjorkley has even reached out to local and federal veterans offices. I did call a veteran service officer and explain the situation and he said he couldn't tell me because of some privacy act. Despite the fact there appears to be no end in sight in the search for Harold Knudsen's loved ones. And every time I get on there, there's more of them. I, I have no idea. Berkeley's desire to find them continues to tick. Just to make a family happy. Um, it really means nothing to us, but I think it would mean uh, more to the family to get it. Well, maybe somebody who watched that story tonight will uh, be able to help out, and, and hopefully they can, they can find the, the, the rightful owner there. I hope so. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.